Welcome to the Relationship Theory, everyone. Here we take thoughts in, break them down, build them up, and play them out today. I got FU money. I want to bring this concept of FU money right down to earth because you don't need thousands of dollars to do this. You don't need $10,000 to do this. You don't need as much money as you think you need. Remember, we're playing an energetic game out here. We're not playing an actually physical game. Now, before I just jump straight into this as I want to, F you money is the kind of expression we use when you want to show someone that you don't really care and you want to flex. So the way that you flex is by showing them that you have money, so much money that it really doesn't matter what you're upset about or what you're angry about or however you want to express yourself to me. It, none of that really matters. I can do whatever I want and my money will talk for me. My money talks and you're going to walk. That's the kind of feeling that FU money gives off. But I want to bring this concept really, really close and down to home with this story I recorded while I was out today. Take a listen. Hey everyone, I just experienced something. Well, at this point, it's been quite a few hours, but I experienced something earlier at a McDonald's and I just had to come and share it with you guys. So, I am doing deliveries. I find myself at a McDonald's. Make, I go to pick up a, a food order. So the person who's passing out the orders to everyone, there, there are a few people who actually purchase something. I'm just there to pick up. But he's calling out the number to these orders. And I show my ticket. I show the number that my order is on that I come to pick up. Okay, fine. So it comes around to the point where the man is going to bring me the order that I told him. So just before that, he called out a few numbers, a few other numbers, people picked it up. And it came to me, I'm on my phone and he's tapping the bag. I just know, I just happened to notice the tapping, but he was tapping the bag. I look up and then I head and I go towards the bag and I pick it up. And I had to stop for a second because I realized, wait a minute, did this man just tap for my attention after just calling out numbers the entire time okay so fast forward i'm journaling i'm thinking about this i go and finish the delivery but then i come back to the place i'm steaming mad i want to come back there and i want to show this guy what's for i'm gonna i'm gonna show him up i'm gonna tell him what what's what so as i'm walking there something changes not my passion about what i want to show this man but something changes so I get back inside the McDonald's. I'm thinking I was going to tell this man, don't ever tap this bag when you want to get my attention. But what I did instead was I ordered some food. I ordered some, a medium fry. I barely have any money, but I ordered this medium fry. So I wait until my number is called and I was hoping that that same man would be the one to deliver the food for me. And yes, he was. He calls the number, I go towards it. And the first thing I do before just taking the fries is I ask him, oh, can, and can you pack some extra ketchup in there? I didn't care whether he packed it or thought about it. I did not care either way. I wanted him to just give me the ketchup. So he put it in there and I thanked him. Remember who you serve. That's the lesson I want to leave with that experience right there. I'm thinking I'm about to yell at this man, but no, no. I came to work and I'm delivering food for people. That's my job. But then he still needs to remember his job as he's serving the people behind the counter. Remember who you serve. That's the line right there. That just sold it for me. After I said that, it sold it for me. But really though, we ought to remember who we serve. I don't like the idea that we think that just because we work in a job where no one seems to care about us, that we also get the freedom to not care about other people. I really do not like that concept. And maybe it's because I have a service industry background, but I think it's common sense to just entreat people with respect and kindness when you're exchanging services. I mean, why would you want someone to leave worse off when the reason why they came to you to buy something is because they actually appreciate what they're about to receive? It's almost like giving someone piss for Christmas. You're expecting gifts and the gift is piss? Really? It 
really floors me to see that people are willing to give other people experiences just because they don't like where they're at or who they are or what they're doing. If you don't like it, do something about it. Goodness, I mean, my story proves it. It doesn't matter how much money you have, and I really didn't have much. And it isn't even about sh I'm not even gonna say that, Never mind. I really didn't have much money. And I can still say F you with my money. Because my money talks. Remember that you're the one who is serving people. Okay, if you don't like the job you're at, then get a better one. If you don't like where you came from from back home, then deal with it. Something. If people really like the idea of the way that the system is set up, where you get to act however you want and still keep your job, treat people the way that you want to, or be the kind of person that you want. It doesn't make any sense. Exactly, and here's my question. Because I live in the USA, I'm gonna have to ask this this way, but exactly what is America paying for? To slim down the question, are people getting paid to treat people like crap? Or are you actually getting paid to do your job? Go ahead, if you agree or disagree, if you've been thinking about this, and if you haven't been thinking about this, either way, thumbs up or thumbs down, drop a comment down there below. What is that? What is, what are we getting paid for? What are people out there, because I don't, I don't work those kinds of jobs, and even if I did, I, I, that's not the place to piss on people, it just isn't. But what are people really getting paid for? That's the question I'm gonna leave with you guys today. This is the relationship theory. Guys, go ahead and leave a comment. Go ahead and hit that subscription button if you've been following along and you just, you're having fun stalking me. Yeah, go ahead and stalk me and add a number to my board, why don't you? But anyway, I have a book out. It's called You Are You, The Life, Relationships and the Idea of How Relationships Affect Your Life. It's meant to paint a few of the stars in your night sky, make them feel like they're much, much closer to you than you think they are, and just bring them closer to home. It's nice to have stars that you can rearrange at will. By stars, I mean, well, I'm not going to spoil it. By the book. It's going to be in the description box below. And I have a podcast out. We are on episode number two. It's called Third Eye Movement. It's also going to be in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out. Have a wonderful day.